This is Jared Horak for HorseRacingNation.com, and this is my video feature race of the week for Saturday, April 1st, 2017, the 14th race from Gulfstream Park, the Grade 1 Florida Derby. For three-year-olds, nine furlongs on the main track, we have an 11-horse field, and number 11, Gunavera, is your morning line favorite at 9-5. to five. But Gunavera is currently my top-ranked derby contender. I don't think he has to win this race. And he looked good winning the Fountain of Youth. He rallied from 13 lanes back from an inner post. He got a lot of pace help and he won nicely. He just pulled away to an easy victory. Prior to that, from the inside post in the Holy Bull, again, he drew well that day from that inner post, saved all the ground, finished a decent second. So now his third start off a layoff and he goes from an inner post to an outer post. And I don't think there's as much pace in this race. Now, some people will think that, that there could be a lot more pace, but I don't see a ton of pace in this race. And also, he, like, he has enough derby points. He doesn't have to, to win this race. Uh, for me, uh, personally, I just like to see him sit back uh, make a nice run in the stretch, finish up nicely, gallop out well, and then move on to the derby in decent form. Just maintain his form. That's all he really needs to do. He's more than capable of winning this race if the pace scenario uh, suits him, and he will be finishing. Uh, but I think he could be a little bit vulnerable on the win end and to, to number four, Always Dreaming. This one's four to one morning line for trainer Todd Pletcher, and he's run well in all four of his starts. His first two career starts for trainer Dominic Chitino in sprint races, he ran well without winning. Moved to the Pletcher Barn, his first start for Pletcher at Tampa Bay earlier this year in January. He rolled to an 11th, 11 length victory, stalking the pace. Last time out, he set a slow pace at Gulfstream Park at this nine furlong distance, and he easily went wire to wire. So in his last two races, he's combined to win by 15 lengths. He's not gonna be on the pace this time. He's not quick enough. Uh, they were going 51 in change, 116 in change last time. Uh, he's not going to be on the lead. He's going to be stalking the pace, hopefully saving some ground. You're probably going to see horses like State of Honor on the inside. Uh, maybe Charlie the Greek for a short time. He could end up in there, but he's overmatched. And then three rules, probably the one to catch. Uh, so that's where the pace is, and I think Always Dreaming will be stalking those horses. Now, speaking of three rules, I thought he ran a nice race in the Fountain of Youth. He set a fast pace. He turned away Irish war cry. A practical joke came at him. It looked like he was just going to go right by him, but he hung in there and he battled hard for second. After Gunavera went past all of them, he, he, was, uh, he was only a half length behind practical joke and he ended up finishing third. He was the only pace player around at the end. He has a lot of quality. He likes Gulfstream Park. Uh, I'm not sure how far he wants to go. Like beyond a mile and a mile and a 16th, it's a bit suspect, but if he can get out there and set the pace, he could be tough to catch. Now there's a battalion runner for Trod Pletcher's in here. He's the nine and he would be a contender if he ran but Pletcher just entered him, but he's thinking about running him in a different spot, like the Santa Anita Derby, maybe the Wood Memorial. We'll see if they end up scratching him out of this race. It would certainly help the front runners, especially three rules if Battalion Runner wasn't in there because he does have some early pressing ability. And then a, a couple others worth considering underneath because they drew good posts. The one, State of Honor, and the two, Talk Logistics. State of Honor ran well in his last two stakes races at Tampa Bay. Talk Logistics, he's finished a distant fourth in his last couple stakes races at Gulfstream, but he drew well. He has stalking speed, and I wouldn't be surprised if he hung in there and at least finished in the top three or four. Here's how I suggest playing this one for my $40 mythical wagers. We're going to make a $16 win wager on number four, Always Dreaming, and then a $1 trifecta. We're going to put the four, Always Dreaming, and number 10, three rules on top, and then we'll add my other contenders in underneath. Uh, they will be the one, State of Honor, the two, Talk Logistics, and the 11, Gunavera. So that $1 trifecta is 410 with 1, 2, 4, 10, 11, with 1, 2, 4, 10, 11. That costs $24. And if you're interested in my full card analysis, go over to winninghorsepicks.com. I sell full cards each and every day from Santa Anita Park, plus bonus races from around the country at winninghorsepicks.com. And if you're interested in my free selection, seven days a week, horseracingnation.com, plays of the day section. I have written plays seven days a week, horseracingnation.com. That I wrap up this week's video. I'll be back with another stakes race from around the country next week.